Hi everyone, Sunny Base Player here, and welcome to Minecraft 1.6.1. As oh, anyway, welcome to Minecraft 1.6. I know that uh, a pre-release was uh, actually live uh, a few days ago, but I wanted uh, to wait for the official one. I wanted to create a new world on the new update, and uh, I don't know. I just wanted everything to be new and uh, official. So let's start with the goodies. The most uh, notable and known thing about this uh, update is the horses. Look at them, they are really beautiful. They were made uh, in collaboration by Mojang with uh, the creator of the Mo Creatures mod. And they are really nice, there are 35 different breeds. And you can find them in the plains biome in groups of uh, 4 up. So look at them, they are really pretty. Hey donkey, why are you alone? Come on, go party, go party with them. Look at that horsey face. Horsey face. Horsey face. Okay, so, as I said, they can be found in a plains biome. Oh, okay. Do you hear them? Of course they have sounds now. And I will show you how to tame them. So, of course you have to approach them in the appropriate way, you have to look at them in the eyes and then mount them. Okay. You have, basically you have to go on in this way until they blow away little hearts. Just like uh, oh did you see them? Is now tamed. Good horsey. Of course to come down as the the text says you have to press the press left shift. And uh, if we come out here, we can take a saddle and put it on the horse. You see, this is the new GUI for them. You take the saddle and place it there. And now you can ride your horse around. It's really cool. Okay, I think they can jump over fences. They are controlled, of course. Oh, look at this! Wow! This is so cool! Can you hear the sound? It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. Good horse. Good horse. You're a nice guy. Okay, so... Uh, in the chest you can see this is the new horse spawn hag. And here you have the three kind of armors, but I will talk about them later. Here we have the donkeys and the mule. So, as you can see, these guys are, uh, are a little bit different from normal horses. They have longer ears and they are a little bit smaller. As you can see, this is a mule, who, uh, of course, is a crossing between a donkey and a horse. And as you can see, this is a saddle or donkey, who's got a chest also. If you mount him, you press the E button and you have the inventory. Look at this. It's awesome. It's awesome. And then everything of course stays there. Oh sorry. I love this. I love this so much. Of course donkeys are tamed in the same way, way as uh, horses. And uh, once uh, you have tamed both a horse, oh, you want to kiss me? You want to kiss me? Yes. Uh, when you have tamed uh, both a donkey and a horse, you can breed them with a golden apple or a golden carrot, and get a mule, who is basically a donkey with a horse color. Very nice. Very nice. Did I say everything? Oh, I didn't say how to put a chest on them. Of course, uh, uh, you first have to tame them. And uh, once you have done that, uh, you simply crouch and uh, right click the donkey with a chest in your hand. So I could show you this uh, with a little mule. Oh, he's too young still. Let's feed you. Oh, look at him. Growing bigger and stronger. 
Come on, little guy. I really like you. Why don't you like me? Oh. Come on. Oh, come on, little guy. I will give you a name if you... Oh, good. Did you see? He just wanted a name. Okay. Now we go down. And let's see if, if the sedative composite to add. No. Look. You can also add the chest on them without the saddle. Of course, you can control him this way, but it is cool to know you can still uh, take him around with a lead. The next important new feature of this uh, update, hey Barry, is the horse armor. As you can see, zombie, good, you died. As you can see in the item frames, we have uh, three different versions iron gold and diamond. Horse armor can be found only in uh, dungeon chests, mine shaft chests, blah, blah, and nether fortress chests. Uh, there is uh, no crafting recipe for them and they have no durability so they are infinite. In fact the golden horse armor is better than the iron one. As you can see this is the item. And this is a really nice horse. I luckily got a full black one. I gave them I gave him a saddle and a beautiful diamond armor. Isn't it beautiful? Fari, I call him. The strongest horse. Here we have a new item which is called the lead, and it is a really useful both for new horses and all mobs because uh, with a lead you can get a mob to follow you and you can just uh, stick him to a fence and he won't go away as you can see I got a chicken I got a cow oh Barry wants to be friends with the other cow so cute okay so the lead is uh, craftable with a string and a slime ball you put them in this uh, arrow-like fashion. As you can see three strings up here, a slime ball in the middle and another string in the bottom right corner and this will give you two leads. Like for example if I take one, I pick Barry, I take him around. Oh sorry Furry. Look, isn't it awesome? <laughs> Let's have a walk. I love this. I really love this. Really cool addition. Really cool. As the decoration side of Minecraft, we have a new carpets and uh, the addition of hardened clay and stained hardened clay. So, first of all, the carpets are made, of course, as you can see from the texture with uh, wool. Of course, there are 16 colors depending on the wool ones and uh, as you can see this is how they look on a item frame which is not so cool but it's weird anyway this is how they look uh, on the ground and this is how they look on the on a block when you can see the side of them or see what are you doing what are you doing what are you doing Woo! I'm, I'm sorry, that horse really, he really got me. Anyway, the crafting recipe for this, it is very simple. You just get uh, two pieces of the same color, the blue, one besides the other, and this will give you three pieces of uh, carpet. This is uh, really cool because if you only need wool to make a floor, or see, mm -hmm, if you only need it to make a floor, Crafting all blocks into mm. carpets will give you way more blocks to cover the floor and so this is a pretty cool because it will save uh, a good quantity of uh, materials if you need to make a, a floor. And then uh, we have the hardened clay as you can see here's all the colors but first how do you get this new fancy block? You need to always mark it already. Anyway, you have to get um, 
the clay blocks. You put them in a furnace with a coal or any or any kind of fuel in order to smelt, and they will turn in uh, hardened clay. This block is uh, pretty tough. It is strong, and uh, and the coolest feature about it it is uh, probably the fact that you can dye. It. You have all these colors. Of course, they are the same 16 ones of the of the carpets. And uh, yeah, in my Snapchat video some time ago, I've already gone through this. And I can say they are good looking. I think they are really good for building, but uh, their names don't really reflect the actual color. For example, if we go to the inventory, you can see like. This is CN. CN? Are you kidding me? This is grey. And so on. They are pretty weird. Grey. Are you sure? No, sorry. Not this one. This is grey for you? I really don't think so. So, anyway, these are all new cool building blocks that have been added. And I think they are pretty fancy, if, even if they are a little bit weird. Oh, look at the doors. How... How did you get out? How did you get out? Stop jumping! Now you come back to me. Okay. And now... Jump! Woo! So cool. Okay, little boy. I should really... Tie you to a fence. Oh, by the way, with the lead, you can also use uh, connected fences and attach them up to them. It's really nice. Really nice. The next... Uh, oh, sorry for the mouse. The next new addition is the block of coal. You heard me well. Now, if I'm not wrong, all minerals have a block variation. And this is the new texture. I really like it. It is really fancy. And you craft it, of course, like most other blocks. Just like uh, lapis, siren, diamonds. You fill up the crafting grid and you get a block. And uh, here I also placed two blocks of obsidian to make a little bit of... of... Uh, <sighs> A little bit of a comparison between uh, these two blocks, and as you can see, the coal one it is much more black, while the obsidian, compared to it, is much more blue than what it looked before. And yeah, that's that's all about it. This new feature is something I really love: the name tags. They are awesome. So basically you get this uh, little item. Hi Lupus. This little item that uh, still can only be found uh, in uh, chests around uh, the world. Meaning the ones in dungeons. Mineshafts. Hey Tony. Mineshafts, as I said, and uh, nether fortresses. So it has uh, no crafting recipes. And uh, to use one, you have of course first... Sorry. You have to find one, get an anvil, and you just uh, rip, rip, you just uh, change its name as you will do with uh, any other item. And uh, for example, let's name it. Uh, no, let's do. Let's do this. Who should I call this way? Hey Dagi! Done! Once you have renamed uh, the name tag, you just uh, right click uh, the mob you want to name with it, and you will get uh, the name, of course. Okay, let's add it to my collection of names. And uh, the name doesn't always uh, show up. It will only show up if you are aiming at the mob and if you are in a radius of 7 blocks to it. As you can see, I've got a Willy, 
Big Butt, I've got Tony, even if uh, the mushroom is a bit weird because mm. the mushroom does cover the name. Here we have a Chicken Lupus who somehow got free of his lead, and I have no idea how he did that. Also, I had... Where is my bodyguard? Where are you, Charles? Oh, come on, I have renamed... Also an Iron Golem. Where the hell did it go? I mean, I fancied all of this, and he managed to run away. Oh my god, I will fire him! Of course, uh, saying that the mobs can be renamed, this means that any mob can be renamed. Also hostile ones. Hi, piggy wannabe! You wanted to be a pig, I know that! And, uh, yeah, oh! Good, Lupus. Anyway, I will show you some uh, features about the name tags. As you can see, also, I have uh, given a name to that horse. Is a furry, I mean the cow berry. There is a chicken lupus, mushroom tunny, and this beautiful white horse, I call him Yox. He's uh, so beautiful. Oh my god. Hi Yox, you're so sexy today. And uh, yes, uh, as you can see, I tried the uh, ha. Mm -hmm. By the way, this is another new feature, the villager sounds. Mm. Oh, that was so wrong, buddy. Anyway, I tried to rename them, but uh, it doesn't work because in any way you try to right-click them, <coughs> they give you the trading GUI. But they are so weird. If you get a baby villager who's uh, left who's right-clicking won't give you the trading option. I'm so screwing up my tongue right now. Let's see... Bob. He was the name of my... Who did I name Bob? I don't remember. Oh my god, I'm so screwed. Anyway, baby villagers can be renamed like this. Hi, Bob. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. Listen to me. Oh my god. And uh, yes, uh, when they grow up, they maintain their name. So it is a really, really cool feature. The last uh, new block that was uh, added is the hay bale. As you can see, this is a completely new block that comes together with uh, the horse, let's say, and uh, it is placeable just like wooden logs, meaning it depends on the block you attach it to. So, for example, we have it here, no. You see, it, it all depends on the block you click on to place it. As you can see, it just, just like uh, wooden logs, nothing special, but they look pretty nice and uh, their crafting recipe is like uh, most uh, other blocks that are obtained from the item. So you take the wheat, you fill the crafting grid and for 9 pieces of wheat you get one hay bale. So not bad, cool addition. And oh, by the way, this leads me to two things I have forgot. First of all is the food for horses and donkeys. So these are all the foodstuffs you can give them. In uh, starting from the left, they are the less effective to the most effective. We have the sugar, wheat, apples, bread, golden carrot and golden apples that uh, make them breed only these two pieces of food make them breed and the hay bale which uh, which uh, feeds them the most and uh, heals them also the most of uh, any other food and uh, yes another thing i forgot is the crafting recipe for the stained hardened clay so you take 
8 pieces of hardened clay, normal one of course, you put a piece of dye in the middle, and then you, you obtain 8 pieces of stained hardened clay. This means that for one color dye you get 8 colored blocks. This is really good, I love this. So, did I cover everything? I think it did. So we have donkeys, we have uh, horse armor, saddles, horse gui, horse inventory, hardened clay, stained hardened clay, carpets, leaves, we have uh, coal blocks, we have name tags, and we have hay baits. Also, something else that I had. Uh, that was known for a bit thanks to snapshots is a pair of uh, texture pack uh, of texture changes which are the charcoal which is now completely new and different from the coal block also by the way the coal block can only be crafted with coal no charcoal and also the lapis lazuli block has changed uh, a little bit mostly in the border you see it is now more rounded somehow. This is really fancy. Hey Bob! And uh, I think this is all. So, thanks for watching. This was uh, Minecraft 1.6.1. I've gone through the most uh, important additions, the most uh, notable ones. And uh, I have to add that uh, this new version is only playable with uh, the new launcher that you can download from uh, mojang.com in fact the, the old launcher will uh, never be updated again so it uh, will stay to minecraft 1.5.2 so minecraft 1.6 uh, starts uh, with the new launcher which is uh, still working on and that will be updated and uh, this is all. I hope I covered everything in the right way. I tried to stay clear and simple. And uh, this is all for today. See you next time. Of course, a like and a subscription would be very much appreciated. Bye bye.